Expand your vocabulary with our core 2000 words ebook. It's free and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free Greek ebook before it's gone. Παρακαλώ. Μια πορτοκαλάδα, παρακαλώ. Εγώ θέλω ένα νερό. Αυτά είναι όλα; Ναι. Βεβαίως, ορίστε η πορτοκαλάδα, το νερό και ο λογαριασμός. Ζέστη, ε; Ναι, κάνει πολύ ζέστη. Μου αρέσει η ζέστη. Στη Γερμανία βρέχει τώρα και κάνει κρύο. Είσαι από τη Γερμανία. Ναι, από το Βερολίνο. Με λένε Αντρέα. Χαίρο πολύ, Αντρέα. Εγώ είμαι η Έλλη. Και εγώ είμαι ο Πέτρος. Χαίρο πολύ. Είστε από την Αθήνα. Όχι, κάνουμε διακοπές εδώ. Τι δουλειά κάνετε. Εγώ δουλεύω ως δάσκαλος. Η Έλλη σπουδάζει ακόμα. Πέτρος Αντωνίου. Ένα δίκλινο παρακαλώ. Βεβαίως. Αντωνίου, λυπάμαι. Δεν βλέπω την κράτησή σας. Περίεργο. Ναι, λυπάμαι πολύ. Θέλετε ένα δίκλινο. Ναι, θέλουμε ένα δίκλινο για μία εβδομάδα. Έχετε. Έχουμε άλλο ένα δίκλινο, το εννιά. Έχει ζεστό νερό. Βεβαίως. Έχει ζεστό νερό, κλιματιστικό, τηλεόραση και μίνι μπαρ. Πόσο κάνει. 50 ευρώ. Γεια, yeah, λέγομαι Χρυσή. Hi everybody, I'm Chrissy. Welcome to GreekPod101.com's Ελληνικά σε 3 λεπτά. The fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Greek. In the last lesson, we learned how to introduce ourselves in Greek. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to use good manners as we thank people. Είστε έτοιμοι? Are you ready? Ξεκινάμε, so let's start! There are several ways to thank someone. Let's start with the easiest. It is just one word. Ευχαριστώ. Ευχαριστώ. Ευχαριστώ means thanks. When saying thanks very much, you just need to add πολύ. Ευχαριστώ πολύ. Ευχαριστώ πολύ. Πολύ means a lot, so ευχαριστώ πολύ is like saying thanks very much. During the last lesson, we talked about both the informal and the formal way of speaking Greek. Ευχαριστώ is a casual way to thank someone. If you want to be more formal, there is another phrase you should use. Σας ευχαριστώ πολύ or σε ευχαριστώ πολύ. Σας ευχαριστώ πολύ. Or, σε ευχαριστώ πολύ. Let's break this phrase down. The σε or σας before ευχαριστώ πολύ literally means you in the second person singular and the second person plural, which is the form used for being formal in Greek. In the plain ευχαριστώ there is no you included, but here we use it and make the phrase sound more polite. Depending on the formality of the situation, we will use σε or σας. How do you answer? It's easy. There are basically two different ways to do it. The first is tipota. Tipota. Tipota literally means it's nothing, but it is the equivalent of you are welcome. The other way to say you're welcome is the expression παρακαλώ. Παρακαλώ. Literally, this phrase means I beg or please, but it has become a common and polite way to respond to someone thanking you. So when someone says ευχαριστώ to you, we can simply reply with τίποτα or παρακαλώ. Now it's time for Chris's insights. If you're not sure about whether to use ευχαριστώ or σας ευχαριστώ πολύ, keeping it simple is always your safest bet. You don't have to worry about formal or informal situations Ευχαριστώ can be used with just about anyone, anywhere, and at any time. Do you know what adio means? In our next lesson, you'll learn this and other greetings in Greek. Adio και ευχαριστώ. Ραντεβού στο επόμενο μάθημα.
Yeah, let me hear you. Hi, everybody. I'm Chrissy. Welcome to GreekPod101.com's Elinika Setrialeta, the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Greek. In the last lesson, we learned how to be grateful to people by saying "ευχαριστώ." In this lesson, we'll learn some of the most common greetings used in Greece. Είστε έτοιμοι? Are you ready? Ξεκινάμε. So let's start. The most used informal greeting is ya. Ya. Ya means hi, hello, or goodbye. We use it when we meet, but also when we leave. We should only use this greeting with friends or relatives. If you want to be more formal, you need to pay attention to the time of day. The most common phrase is Kalimera. Kalimera. Literally, Kalimera means good day. However, we may also interpret it as good morning or good afternoon. As a rule of thumb, we can use Kalimera only during the daytime, from morning until early afternoon. During the late afternoon and evening, we say Kalispera. Kalispera. Espera or spera is ancient Greek for the part of the day after sunset. So Kalispera means good afternoon or good evening. Kalimera and Kalispera are used when we meet someone, but when we leave, we don't say them again. In this formal situation, Greek people use adio. Adio. Adio means goodbye. If you're leaving after around 8 p.m., you can say kalinichta, which literally means good night. Kalinichta. Finally, it is very common in Greek to use the informal hi we introduced in the beginning of this lesson as a parting greeting as well. Ya. Ya. Now you can greet people in many different ways in Greek. Let's review them all again. When greeting in an informal situation, we say ya. When greeting in a formal situation, we say kalimera or kalispera. When leaving, in a formal situation, adio. When leaving, in an informal situation, ya. Yeah. It's easy, isn't it? Now it's time for Chris's insights. In formal situations, Greek people commonly greet each other by shaking hands. On the other hand, if we meet someone we are very friendly with, we kiss each other on both cheeks. Don't be afraid to do it with your Greek friends. It's normal. During the next lesson, we learn the meaning of the phrase Milata Glika. Do you already know it? We'll be waiting to talk about it with you in our next Elinika Setria Lepta lesson. Yeah!
Hello everyone and welcome to another video and one of the most important videos of GreekPod101.com Today we'll talk about the 25 most popular phrases that we use in Greek So pay careful attention because you will need them Yeah Hello Number one Yeah 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 Hello Kalimera Good morning. Number two. Kalimera. 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 Good morning. Gris. <laughs> Kalispera. Good afternoon. Kalispera. 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 Good afternoon. Good morning is from 6 a.m. to 12 p.m. From 12 until the sunset is Kalispera and from the sunset and after it's Kalinichta. But you are not saying to someone good night when you meet him, you tell him when you are leaving. Okay? Easy or confusing? Kalo vradi. Have a good evening. Kalo vradi. Kalo vradi. Have a good evening. Or have a good night. Πώς ελένε? What's your name? Πώς ελένε? What's your name? Πώς ελένε? Πώς ελένε? Yes, you in the corner. What's your name? Με λένε. I'm. Με λένε. Με λένε. I am. I'm. And your name. Με λένε Μανουήλ. I'm Emmanuel. Me lene Emmanuel. Emmanuel. In Greek edition, Emmanuel. In Latin edition or in worldwide edition, Emmanuel. This is how they know me. Hero Poli. Nice to meet you. Hero Poli. Hero Poli. Hero Poli. Hero Poli. Nice to meet you. Tikanis. How are you? Tikanis. Tikanis. Τι κάνεις? How are you? How are you? Easy. Είμαι καλά. Ευχαριστώ. Και εσύ? I'm fine, thanks. And you? Είμαι καλά, ευχαριστώ. Και εσύ? Είμαι καλά, ευχαριστώ. Και εσύ? Είμαι καλά, ευχαριστώ. Και εσύ? I'm fine, thanks. And you? Παρακαλώ. Please. Παρακαλώ. 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 Please. Now, παρακαλώ, it has two ways of using it. Παρακαλώ, please do this for me. Θα μου δώσεις το αμάξι παρακαλώ. Θα μου δώσεις το αμάξι παρακαλώ. Can you give me the car please? Or, you welcome that you put it as παρακαλώ. It's okay, it's nothing. Ευχαριστώ. Thank you. Ευχαριστώ. Thank you. Ευχαριστώ. 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 Thank you. Ναι. Yes. Ναι. 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 Yes. You will give me the car. <laughs> Όχι. No. Όχι. 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 No. Usually, you hear it from people that they are in bad mood. Usually they say yes, don't worry. Especially when you are in uh, summer holidays in Greece. Ίσως. Maybe. Ίσως. 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 Maybe. Εντάξει. All right. Εντάξει. Εντάξει. All right. Okay. We'll do it. Εντάξει. Με συγχωρείτε. Excuse me. Με συγχωρείτε. Με συγχωρείτε. Excuse me. Με συγχωρείτε. Συγγνώμη. I'm sorry. Συγγνώμη. 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 I'm sorry. Τι ώρα είναι. What time is it. Τι ώρα είναι. Τι ώρα είναι. What time is it? 
Πού είναι η τουαλέτα? Where is the restroom? These phrases are must. You have to learn them. Πού είναι η τουαλέτα? Πού είναι η τουαλέτα? Πού είναι η τουαλέτα? Where is the restroom? Μισό λεπτό. Wait a moment. Μισό λεπτό. Μισό λεπτό. Μισό λεπτό. Wait a moment. Wait a moment. Πόσο κάνει αυτό? How much is this? Πόσο κάνει αυτό? Πόσο κάνει αυτό? How much is this? Μπορώ να έχω το λογαριασμό παρακαλώ. Could I get the check please? Μπορώ να έχω το λογαριασμό παρακαλώ. Μπορώ να έχω το λογαριασμό παρακαλώ. Could I get the check please? Could I get the check please? Συχαρητήρια. Congratulations. Συχαρητήρια. 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 Congratulations. Τα λέμε αργότερα. See you later. Τα λέμε αργότερα. Τα λέμε αργότερα. Τα λέμε αργότερα. See you later. Alligator. <laughs> Αντίο. Goodbye. Αντίο. 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 Goodbye. And that's the end for today. The top 25 phrases in Greek. These are the standard uh, phrases that you will need for sure. Hope you enjoy this video. Have a nice day. Have a nice evening or morning, no matter what is the time over there. And if you want to learn more, subscribe in greekpod101.com and see you soon. Take care. Bye. Bye from Greece. <laughs>
I'll do the cleaning today. Don't mind if I do. Kerdises. You won. Kerdises. You won. Now that's something I like to hear. Especially if that's about the lottery. Dicho. You were right. Iches dicho. You were right. An answer to this could be Το ξέρω. I know. Σου έφερα κάτι ιδιαίτερο. I brought you something special. Σου έφερα κάτι ιδιαίτερο. I brought you something special. Well, that depends on what's special for you. Bravo. Well done. Bravo. Well done. This is borrowed from Italian, but in Greek we don't distinguish male from female for bravo, like Italians do with bravo and brava. It's always bravo in Greek, regardless of the number and gender of people it refers to. And that's it for the 10 phrases you always want to hear. Do you have any other phrases that you would like to hear? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and stay tuned on GreekPod101.com for more videos like this. Yahara! Hi everyone, Stefania here. Welcome to another video where I'll teach you 10 phrases to amaze native speakers. Let's start. Είναι διασκεδαστικό και εύκολο το να μάθεις ελληνικά. Greek is fun and easy to learn. Είναι διασκεδαστικό και εύκολο το να μάθεις ελληνικά. Greek is fun and easy to learn. I don't think Greek is an easy language to learn, but if you do, then good for you. Εκτός από τα ελληνικά, μιλάω και μερικές άλλες γλώσσες επίσης. Apart from knowing Greek, I can speak a few other languages as well. Εκτός από τα ελληνικά, μιλάω και μερικές άλλες γλώσσες επίσης. Apart from knowing Greek, I can speak a few other languages as well. For example, you can say Milao Anglica ki Hispanica. I speak English and Spanish. Some other languages are Portogalica for Portuguese, Italica for Italian, Germanica for German, Russica for Russian, Arabica for Arabic, and Kinesica for Chinese. These are just a few examples. If you want to know how to say your language in Greek, just leave a comment below. Κατάλαβα εντελώς όλα όσα είπες. I completely understood everything you said. The next phrase is Κατάλαβα εντελώς όλα όσα είπες. I completely understood everything you said. In this sentence you can also skip εντελώς and say Κατάλαβα όλα όσα είπες. I understood everything you said. Μαθαίνω ελληνικά εδώ και δέκα χρόνια. I've been learning Greek for ten years. Μαθαίνω ελληνικά εδώ και δέκα χρόνια. I've been learning Greek for ten years. Although ten years sounds like too much, I think uh, it is not an unusual amount of time to reach fluency in Greek. I think it took me eight to nine years during my school years to learn English, which I considered an easier language than Greek. Uh, and all that while well, I was getting a lot of exposure to English through music and movies. Uh, perhaps you don't know that, but in Greece, foreign movies and shows never get dubbed. They get subtitles unless they are intended for uh, very young audiences. So you can always hear English on the TV or on the radio. If I remember correctly, uh, for most of my school years, I was doing lessons uh, once or twice a week. Uh, maybe if I had done a super intensive course, uh, like 
every day for four to five hours, I would have learned much faster. My point is that if you want to reach Greek fluency, you need to dedicate a lot of time one way or the other. Μαθαίνω ελληνικά μόνος μου. I'm learning Greek all by myself. Let's move on to the next phrase. Μαθαίνω ελληνικά μόνος μου. I'm learning Greek all by myself. If you're a woman, you can say Μαθαίνω ελληνικά μόνη μου. I don't think I could ever learn a language μόνη μου. Uh, I like being in a class with a teacher and classmates. Uh, but some people manage to learn things on their own, which is amazing. I wish I had the discipline it takes to do that. There's so many languages I would like to learn. Μου πήρε μόνο έναν χρόνο για να μάθω να μιλάω άπτεστα. It took me only one year to become fluent. Μου πήρε μόνο έναν χρόνο για να μάθω να μιλάω άπτεστα. It took me only one year to become fluent. People will get very impressed, for sure, if you manage to do that. We Greeks consider our language to be quite difficult to learn. Μπορώ και αποστηθίζω γύρω στις 50 νέες ελληνικές λέξεις την ημέρα. I can memorize around 50 new Greek words a day. Μπορώ και αποστηθίζω γύρω στις 50 νέες ελληνικές λέξεις την ημέρα. I can memorize around 50 new Greek words a day. That is a lot. Μπορώ να βλέπω ελληνικές ταινίες χωρίς υπότιτλους. I can watch Greek movies without subtitles. Μπορώ να βλέπω ελληνικές ταινίες χωρίς υπότιτλους. I can watch Greek movies without subtitles. If you can do that, then congratulations. You are fluent, my friend, and you don't need me anymore. Σε τρία χρόνια θα μιλάω ελληνικά σαν να ήταν η μητρική μου γλώσσα. I'll speak Greek like a native speaker in three years. Σε τρία χρόνια θα μιλάω ελληνικά σαν να ήταν η μητρική μου γλώσσα. I'll speak Greek like a native speaker in three years. Sounds like a big challenge. You think you can do it? Έχω μάθει να τραγουδάω τον εθνικό ύμνο. I learned how to sing the Greek national anthem. Έχω μάθει να τραγουδάω τον εθνικό ύμνο. I learned how to sing the Greek national anthem. Do you know the title of the Greek national anthem? It's called Ύμνος εις την ελευθερία, meaning hymn to liberty or hymn to freedom. And it was written by the poet Dionysius Solomos and was put to music by Nikolaos Manzaros. When sung, the anthem consists of two stanzas, or verses as they call it in music. Although normally the poem consists of 158 stanzas, making it the longest in text national anthem in the world. I bet you didn't know that. So there you have it! 10 phrases to amaze native speakers. I hope you found the lesson interesting. Can you think of some other phrases that could amaze a Greek? If you do, leave them in the comments below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and visit greekpod101.com to learn more. Yahara! Expand your vocabulary with our core 2000 words ebook. It's free and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free Greek ebook before it's gone.